I think I was around 16 or so. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And in India, engineering is really pop, like really popular. Everyone's parents are basically pushing them into engineering and you know you have to take these really intense entrance exams to I think you were telling me a little bit about yeah. this <laughs> it's 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 ridiculous yeah. and uh, so I think people start when they're in eighth grade or ninth grade starting going they start they go to school and then they go to school outside of school to actually prepare for these tests yep and it's just not you're three years late because now you're, you're 16, <laughs> yeah, I'm 16. You still don't know I still you're don't know man. and yeah. I'm kind of a delinquent at the time and, yeah. uh, so <laughs> there. as we all are been there yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> so uh, I'm around 16 and um, wasn't sure what I wanted to do originally I wanted to be a zoologist and I thought I would do something with that but nice. uh, the <laughs> it's gonna sound very corny but one summer it was like 2010 we were watching Iron Man on TV and I thought oh that's pretty cool so then I started taking an interest in technology. I thought, I like this. So, you know, uh, I found this website um, from this guy who went to CMU at the time. His name is John Parmesano. Okay, I don't know him yet. It's called, I mean, he. this was 2010. I found a website ah, I started so. in 2004. So nice. he's long gone. Long gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he, uh, he, was, he was at CMU. Probably um, works for like Amazon or something now. I think he worked at the Naval Research Lab. Oh, lab. cool. Yeah. Yeah, the off, right. Office of Naval Research. Yep. I think so. Those guys do interesting stuff. They've been kind of more on my radar lately. Yeah, he uh, he started this website called Society of Robots, and he used to build robots as a hobby. So he put his robot he he would put his builds on, and he'd have tutorials on how he built them. So I discovered that. And I thought robots are cool, so I'll do that. And how do you go to college for robots? You couldn't at the time. Like uh, it's no. Uh, I think they have undergrad programs now in robotics. I think WPI like has one. I think that's yeah. the only one. Carnegie Mellon's got to have one by now, I would hope. I mean, it, maybe they, they, for, they, for a while you could get a robotics. I think you could major, but you had to have another major. Or maybe you could minor in robotics, but you couldn't major in robotics. I, I've seen that. Like People major in mechanical or computer science and minor in robotics. I've seen yeah. that quite a bit. But like a degree in robotics is something I have. Until like, you get a master's, yeah. You can't, you can't really do it as an undergrad. Yeah, when I when I got my undergrad degree, I went for computer science and business administration because mm -hmm. it was the closest I could get, and I didn't really care. I was gonna, I would, do, I would have done electrical, I would have done software, yeah. I would have done mechanical, but it was like I, I just kind of got the furthest, the fastest in computer science. So mm -hmm. I decided to lock that one down. Yeah, I I decided on electronics engineering for that matter. It's like, oh, I need mechanical engineering. I need to build circuits, and I need to know how to code. The yeah. circuit seemed like a middle ground. I'll go do that. Yeah. That's what it's 